Hey guys, again, this is the Glock 18C disassembly and reassembly video. This is part three because YouTube will allow me to put like an hour of videos, well, hour of a video on YouTube. So I have to put it in parts, which is a pain in the ass. This part is to show you how to reassemble the slide of the Glock 18C. Now then, it's not going to be that hard, but it's still going to be hard. First, you're going to take this thing, the entire like blowback containment unit, first you gotta clean it, I already told you that, stick this thing back in, if it's like a puzzle piece, if you don't know how to put it back in, you're a retard, unless you lost something or something, but you're still gonna be a retard, then you're gonna stick this thing right in, oh, not yet, screw, screw what I just said, then take that thing right back in, take a pair of pliers and show you it more easily, See, there it is. You can see a little nub sticking out. Uh, you can't see it. The pliers are in the way. Or tweezers. Whatever you call this thing. You can see that tiny little nub sticking out. You see it? You can stick that nub to... Oh, I'm going to get a flashlight. Oh, piece of shit. See that little nub? That little circle in there? Piece of sh... Now stick that into there. See? See how it can turn? Make sure it's able to turn. Make sure it's flat and flushed. I'm going to put this piece back in, which is not that hard if you're not an idiot. Just put it back in. It's going to be flushed. To move it around, push forward, push it back, see? Okay then, then you're going to take your base plate, put it back on. Should look like that. If that was really hard for you to put that base plate back on, go shoot yourself. Take your little tiny spring, uh, it's really hard to see because the camera's a piece of shit. I'm going to put it right in there, going up and down, spring pushing up and down. It's going to be really hard, but wait. Before I do that, I'm going to stick the, actually, yeah, I'm going to do that now. It's going to be a really hard procedure. Don't lose the spring because you're going to be screwed. <coughs> pushing in and down. Piece of shit. Where the sp there it is. Ah. I'll push in. Push it in and down. There you go. Put your thumb over it so you don't lose the spring. You're gonna take these two larger springs. I put it into those two holes at the top. One goes in here. One goes in here. There you go. Now then, keep your thumb there. Hold the base plate on. Thumb there. Hold this down. Well, you don't have to hold... Oh, well, just hold it down. Take your slide. And remember, those two springs are still going to be sticking out. See? So you're gonna have to you have to move it in diagonally, push this way, then push down. Move it in diagonally, push whoops. Carefully. Move it in diagonally, push this way. Ah uh, crap, got stuck. There you go. Make sure this thing still moves. It's normal for this thing not to snap back all the way. If it does, you lubricate it good. If it doesn't, still normal. Then here comes the ease part. Put that screw back into that hole. There you go. Take your screwdriver and screw it in clockwise. There we go. Take your, uh, wait, move your rear sight. Then put that screw back in. Remember, I told you to memorize how it goes back in. Screw it in a little bit. 
Now make sure on the top of it, top of that screw, it has a hole for the Allen key to go in. Check to make sure. Now then, you're going to take your uh, selector switch. Yes, I know the ball bearing isn't in yet, but take the selector switch and put it in there for a second after you clean it. Just push it in. Make sure it goes in all the way because sometimes it'll be like that. You're going to see something not going, see the end of that will not go in. You're going to have to move it around the inside a little bit to see how it goes in. Just like put it in then move it around like that then it will go in sooner or later. Take that ball bearing and stick it into that middle hole. Wait, let me get there. there you go. You see those three holes at the bottom? One, two, three. Put in that middle hole. Piece of shit. I hate doing this through the camera. I'm just going to move into the middle hole. There you go. You take your selector switch in. And then make sure you see that little spring. Make sure that spring goes over the ball bearing. Just got to push it in and move around the end of the selector switch. There you go. Make sure it's like that. Got to push this in. Make sure the little... Uh, oh, crap. Oh, well, when you put it in, make sure the gun is on semi-automatic. I'm going to put it in. If, it, if you don't... If it's not turned the right way, it's not going to go in all the way, you'll definitely know. Then when it's all the way in, see that? It's all the way in. Turn the gun to full auto. Then it's not coming out. And make sure that screw is tight. That screw is nice and tight. Stick your Allen key in there. Turn. Piece of shit, I hate this thing. There we go, nice and tight. Move your uh, sight back into place. Make sure it works. This is semi safe, full auto. Set it back onto safe. Put your barrel and inner barrel back in. Put your uh, spring back in. If you don't know how to put the spring back in, you're a retard, go watch some videos. There we go. Then you gotta take well oh, piece of shit. You gotta take your frame and I told you to uh to do that, to pull the trigger and the hammer. Take it down, push it back in, push it all back in, make sure it does that, make sure that nub goes down. There you go. I'm gonna put it on the rails. And then do that. Make sure it works that make sure it's still not safe. Semi works. Full auto. Whoop. There we go. Works. All right then. You just fully disassembled and reassembled the slide of the Glock 18C. Part four will be disassembling the frame. If you don't have to, don't. If you have to, do. If you really don't want to, go save up 75 bucks. Go on eBay and buy the entire lower frame of the Glock 18C. Alright then, see you later.